This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. I got a text last night as I was eating dinner with my kids from Melissa Orange. It was from City Field in uh, uh, Queens, where I don't know they were playing, but the Mets were playing. Who are you watching, Alyssa? And how was the ballpark? Are you? Is that a joke? The Mets. Jose Reyes. Is he still playing yeah. for him? I don't know who they were yeah, playing. Yeah, no, they were. They were playing the Pirates. It's why I sent it to you. Well, no, see, no, you don't. I don't want to have my eyes on that. I've watched the game and oh. a half of the Pirates. They've lost them both. I was. Li <laughs> I was literally not paying attention to them yesterday on purpose. Who won the game? Oh, the Mets did. See, but that's they did because have a three zero lead at some point. <laughs> it's because you sent me a photo of the Pirates, Alyssa. I'm sorry. It's the I'm only sorry. place where the jinx works, and now it's on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but it was really fun. But yeah, that's why I was like, "Look, the Pirates are playing the Mets." I got excited. Mm -hmm. My bad. Don't get excited when the Pirates are playing, man. Uh, you'll learn your lesson at some point. <laughs> um, no, it was great. What's going on in New York City? So so we're here for the uh, Olympic Media Summit for Team USA. So we've been talking to athletes the past couple of days. They've had some really good panels on mental health and security and, you know, comeback athletes. And, uh, you know, they're about to have a track and field one here in a little bit, which has a couple names that some Arkansas fans would recognize. Tar Davis Woodhall is here. She's married to Hunter Woodhall, but she trains in Fayetteville. And then Ryan Krauser, who also trains in Fayetteville, will be here tomorrow. So uh, it's been good. I do have to say, though, about my Mets thing. You know, Mike Piazza is my favorite player ever. So I just hung out in the Mike Piazza lounge and took photos and sent them to my dad the whole time. They claim him and the Dodgers claim him. The Marlins do, do not. No, it was only for a day. It was less than 24 hours, so it was fine. That's funny. That's funny. Um, so from afar, you uh, obviously saw about the news about um, uh, Zivonimir Ivicic, um now mm. committing to Arkansas. We're hearing reports of other seven footers that might be coming to visit Arkansas. And, you know, I just wonder what the rest of the week is going to be like. Um, I, I can't imagine that, that if such is the only commit that, that, that announces this week. Yeah, I don't think so. I think this was just, you know, the first ball to drop and it's going to be exciting to see kind of what happens because you, you had Cal's announcement, his introductory ceremony and welcome ceremony, then he had to get on a plane to go to his own award ceremony in California. So it had been quiet for a few days. Not that things weren't going behind the scenes, but Arkansas fans just really anxious for this first one to drop, and it finally did. And I think it's just a domino effect of what we're going to see. And uh, Wallace Spearman is here as well, and I was talking to him, and he was just like, I just, just, I, I'm really excited to see like who Cal can bring to Fayetteville. Not only some former players who can come back and watch, but also you know guys that he can come in and and, and help continue to elevate the program. OG Wallace Spearman, there we go. Uh, big, How about it? big fan of his. Tyson Gay as well. Uh, speaking of our our Kansas in the Olympics, we got any our our Kansas in, in any of these uh, track events? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you have, uh, well, this isn't track, but Paris swimming, and I've done a story on her, Olivia Chambers. She's from Little Rock, um, but she is um, blind, uh, started losing her eyesight at 16. She will be here. She's expected to do really well at the para games as a swimmer. Um, and then you look at, you You hope Britton Wilson, who is, who's not from Arkansas, but obviously went to Arkansas and trained still in Fayetteville, uh, to rehab really well, come back and be able to make this Olympic team. Sandy Morris is another name where she's looking for her third game. So a lot of Arkansas ties, you know, even look at Jaden Hibbert, who won the Bowerman, and, and he's someone who could easily bring some medals in for, for Jamaica, even though, you know, he's not in our hands. And um, the, the program that Arkansas has, people want to go there to compete because they know they can be Olympians and they can compete on that level. Is there any event, uh, Alyssa, that uh, that you love watching the most? I was talking with Phil. I, I love the the track relay, especially the sprint, the four by two, the four by one, four by four. Uh, what what are some of the events that you just you just love watching? You have to love the sprints and the hurdles. I mean, the hurdles is amazing because because of how fast they go and how graceful they do it. It's incredible. Um, I've really kind of fallen in love with the jumps after covering Jaden Hibbert for a while. And that's kind of on the track side. But as a, as a young girl, I mean, gymnastics is what, what people watched. And, and, and I grew up remembering watching the gymnastics. It's like 
during the winter, you watch the figure skating. As a young girl, that's what I grew up watching every four years. I'm into the velodrome events. And I'm not into racing normally, but that those that's fun. I mean, the, the speed and how close they are right next to each other. Do you, do you, I mean, mm-hmm. how do you know what you're covering when you go over? It's going to be a day-to-day thing, and we're, we're still trying to figure that out. They have most of the schedule out, so we kind of know what events are happening. But there's going to be a rotation of, you know, someone is just going to the events and getting the media availabilities afterwards, and then other people are going to put in packages. And the Olympics have so many, you know, rules with what you can show and what you can't show. So, so our non-NBC affiliates we're doing stuff for will get more of stuff like the vibe of Paris and like what's going on around the games and not the game specifically. So our assignment's going to change day to day, hour to hour. And uh, I think that's, what's going to be exciting. So that's what I've been told. It's my first one. So I'm excited to get over there and kind of see how it all, all unfolds. I'd file to be the food correspondent, Matt, screw the, screw the sports. <laughs> Give me the food. <laughs> yeah. The wine, wine and cheese, That's right. wine and cheese correspondent here. Thank you. <laughs> There's a, I, I was looking, I pulled up the list of, uh, of events there. I, I'm, I'm a, a little jealous, Alyssa. It's going to be cool to get over there and see. And then you have the new event, the basketball three on three, but I was looking up like the, the modern pentathlon. It's like, well, okay, what's that? And I was thinking like it was a track event. It's totally just a, it's out there. It's like 20 minutes before the event starts, you get to pick a horse. Then you got to ride a horse. Then you have to do fencing. You have to swim. What is modern about this? That's a, I swim a 200 mile freestyle. I mean, this has got to be the coolest event out that's there. That's incredible. Holy cow. No, that, that's exciting. Like, I'm also excited, like the artistic swimming, which is synchronized swimming. Uh, water polo. We just talked mm-hmm. to some of the females on the water polo team, and they are awesome. And that that's the biggest thing is once you talk to these athletes, even if it's a sport that you're not familiar with or you don't know much about, you're like, heck yeah, I'm going to go watch that. Like this weightlifting girl got me pumped after her interview. So I'm excited for, for a little bit of everything. Hey, I'm, um, you and I were texting about this last night. You're in New York. Marquisha Davis drafted by the New York Liberty. What was it? Was it 11th wow. or 12th overall? Um, 11th and, overall, yeah. Wow. Former Arkansas Razorback, straight out of McGee, played at Springdale, uh, two years at Arkansas, less than two years at Arkansas, if I remember now, and then uh, two years, yeah. I think, at Ole Miss. Um, I didn't realize that she was that she was on draft boards, but there she goes. She's got all the athleticism yeah. in the world. There's no doubt. Yeah, and, and I have to say, Phil, I, I didn't either. I, I did not, as I was scrolling through, kind of looking at who was going when, and I saw that, and I was like, holy cow, I did not anticipate that, and maybe that's just for my lack of, of looking it up. Um, but, again, I, I guess the growth at Ole Miss really has stood out, and I was talking to Pat Jenkins today. He said this is the third Arkansan to ever be drafted in the WNBA. So, real shout-out to Marquisha Davis, who I know a lot of fans cheered for when she was at Arkansas because she was, you know, played at Springdale. And um, that's an exciting time for her. Well, and then, you know, where there's so much focus on, on the men's team and the, the portal activity and, and all of that, that it kind of fell by the wayside that Talia Scott transferred to Auburn. Um, and yeah. obviously you saw that. That I didn't expect that. I thought, look, and I think they have a good program, but I thought she, she may have ended up somewhere else. But the photo of her shooting money... In her in her uh, yeah, in her announcement, very uh, telling. Yeah, no kidding. Very telling. So that's the first thing I thought too. Was well, wow, that's telling. And the second thing I thought was interesting. Um, you know, she had she had said go Tigers on Jersey Wolfenbarger's thing, and everyone thought, oh, she'll go to LSU. Well, she went to the other Tigers team, so she went to Auburn. But she put out a tweet and said that she didn't want to be a part of something that was already established. She wanted to go and help build something, which is very interesting to me because what were you doing at Arkansas? Like, that's what we were doing here. So, and then you post a picture of money, and I'm not going to sit here and speculate, but I think, you know, people aren't dumb. Yeah, had, had a little, must have had a little something to do with it, which which just is, yeah. the, is the direction of, uh, of sports these days. But you know what? College else? athletics. You know, and that's a topic we've been talking about here, too. A lot of questions are just with the way that college athletics is going. What would that look like for some of these non-revenue Olympic sports on the collegiate level and how much they depend on the collegiate level to be that stepping stone for these athletes to compete on the Olympic level. And and is this NIL world that we're living in going to scale back some of these other 
Olympic sports down the road. It's been a big topic of conversation here. It's been very interesting. Well, and remember, the Olympics used to just be about amateurism. It, well, you couldn't have any mm -hmm. professionalism, no sponsorships or anything, if I remember. And, uh, you know, I think yep. there's still some, I don't know if there's some sports that in, in the Olympics that are viewed that way or if it's all now uh, mostly, you know, professional athletes. Uh, but I think that's the direction it's gone. And, you know, that seems to be the direction college sports are going too. Yeah, well, and, you, and if you look at these athletes, specifically on, you know, the water polos and the weightlifting and these smaller, um, not as popular sports, even swimming, they don't make a lot of money. And so they've got to find some other kind of form of income to be able to support themselves financially and then also train. And, you know, so you have to look at that. But then you look at there are going to be track athletes who win gold who will get a monetary stipend for winning at the Olympics in track and field. We talk about that, too. So it's very interesting the way that things are moving. And there's a lot of support on, you know, we athletes should be paid for, for their results in the Olympics. And it's a big conversation. And it just opens up a lot of doors for exactly the direction that things are going. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B B L E A V for your fifty percent welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.